This tutorial is about field data collection using iPhone and GIS Cloud. Um, GIS Cloud is an online service. Uh, it's free for using a single device and uh, it can be used to create a field data collection uh, workflow and use an iPhone to collect field data. The uh, components of uh, this system are the GIS Cloud uh, account uh, that can be created using uh, the GIS Cloud website and uh, uh, mobile data collection MDC uh, GIS Cloud app that is installed on the iPhone. Together, uh, they can be used to collect the data. Uh, these two, uh, the online GIS Cloud and the app on the, uh, on the mobile phone continuously synchronize with each other as the uh, changes are made um, to the data. Uh, the, 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 the GIS Cloud forms the office part, office work part of the workflow whereas the iPhone app forms the field work part of the workflow and there are three steps in which these uh, the process can be uh, accomplished uh, executed number one we create a form uh, the form is the data that we need to collect in the field um, this can be uh, textual data numerical data uh, the location time um, the accuracy of the uh, but all of these things are created as a form which can be filled out in the field on the iPhone once the form is created the it's automatically synced with the app and in the field a person can fill out that form based on uh, the information that is being collected and once that is that information is collected it is uh, in real time synchronized with the GS cloud and is available uh, for viewing uh, in the office the next step is uh, coming back to the office and opening uh, the GS cloud where all of the points collected in the field work are displayed on a map that can be viewed and analyzed the first step is for uh, in this process is creating an account on the GS Cloud website, um, and um, and then logging in. And uh, the same account must be used to log in on the uh, mobile app. Uh, once the, uh, the once you log in, uh, there are two things that you will see. You can see all the previous projects that you have worked on or you can create a new pr project so uh, let's create a new project once you create uh, click the create new project you will see that you can give it a name so let's call it uh, let's suppose that we want to go outside and uh, identify all the cars and their uh, color uh, or their make um, and their condition so let's call the the name of the pro project to be cars and you can um, give your name as the first author and you can uh, provide a brief description um, color and make of cars okay now um, of course we need to collect this information but um, uh, we need to create a form in which we will collect that information so let's say the first information I want to collect um, is the color of the car so it's a, a textual information text and I call it uh, that I want to collect the color of the car uh, the next uh, is the make of the car so again it's a text information and I can call it make and let's say I actually uh, also want to collect the year of the car so I can um, enter a numeric information and find the year of the car 
and I can add more fields. So suppose I want to also find out um, the latitude and longitude of the car. So I can add a field called latitude, a field called longitude. Um, also, um, the, the complete information about the location is latitude, longitude, and altitude. So I will add altitude as well. Now, um, sometimes it's important to know what time that information was collected. So we can add another field called time. Um, it might be also important uh, that who collected the data. So we can add the username. And we might be interested in taking a few photographs. So we can um, add photos um, as a field. So this creates a form and all of this information will be filled out in the field whenever uh, a point uh, data is collected. Uh, now just to see what other options are available you can see you can do audio recording you can uh, 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 collect a barcode information you can also uh, provide information about collect information about the device or which iPhone was being used and you can uh, look at some other pieces of information available here as well once this is done uh, click create project and uh, Oh, photos so just uh, let's see pics we have to give a name uh, to every field and then create project this will create a project um, that is now available uh, to collect data okay. uh, you can click open project and you can see that you will see a map but there are no points at this point uh, but we will look at that uh, in, a, in, a, in a third tutorial. But for now, go back and look at the list of the project, and you can see that uh, project that I previously created and the new project Cars is available. These The project is also available on your iPhone, and in the next tutorial, we will see how to collect data uh, on the iPhone.